Alright, welcome to Forbidden Scripture. Nine Spiral. Concerning death. What are the teachings concerning death? We're going to get into it. Because it's coming. Second Ezra's chapter 7. Verse 75 to 101. I answered and said... If I have found favor in your sight, O Most High, show this also to your servant, whether after death, as soon as everyone yields up the soul, we should be kept in rest until those times come when you will renew the creation, or whether we shall be tormented at once he answered me and said I will show you that also but do not include yourself with those who have shown scorn Ezra or number yourself among those who are tormented for you just like nine spiral have a treasure of work stored up with the Most High, but 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 it will not be shown to you until the last times. Now concerning death, the teaching is: when a decisive decree has gone forth from the Most High that a person shall die, as the spirit, the ruach, leaves the body to return again to whom gave it huh first of all it adores the glory of the most high if it is one of those who have shown scorn and have not kept the way of the most high who have despised his law it's all about the law it's a vibration and hated those who fear hawah such spirits shall not enter into inhabitations, but shall immediately wander about in torment, huh? Always grieving and sad in seven ways. The first way, because they have scorned the law of the Most High. The second way, because they cannot now make a good repentance so that they may live. Huh? The third way, they shall see the reward laid up for those who have trusted the covenants of the Most High. The fourth way, they shall consider torment laid up for themselves in the last days. <laughs> the fifth way, they shall see how the habitations of the others are guarded by Melakim, angels, dracons, in profound quiet. The sixth way, they shall see how some of them will cross over into torments. Huh? The seventh way, which is worse than all the ways that have been mentioned, <laughs> because they shall utterly waste away in confusion and be consumed with shame and shall wither with fear at seeing the glory of the Most High in whose presence they sin while they were alive and in whose presence they ought to be judged in the last times huh
Now, this is the order of those who have kept the ways of the Most High. Get ready, Drop Nation. When they shall be separated from their mortal body. During the time that they lived in it, they laboriously served the Most High and withstood danger every hour so that they may keep the law. I keep telling y'all it's all about the law. It's a vibration of the lawgiver perfectly. Therefore, this is the teaching concerning them. First of all, they shall see the great joy and glory of him who receives them. <laughs> For they shall have rest in what? Seven orders. The first order, because they have striven with great effort to overcome the evil thought that was formed with them. So they so that it might not so likely lead them astray from life into death. Huh? <laughs> Let's go. The second order. Because they see the perplexity in which the souls of the ungodly wonder and the punishment that awaits them. <laughs> the third order. They see the witness that he who formed them bears concerning them. That throughout their life, they kept the what? No. It's all about the law with which they were entrusted, huh? <laughs> the fourth order, they understand the rest that they now enjoy being gathered into their chambers and guarded by angels, men like King Jukons in profound quiet, huh? And the glory awaiting them in the last days. The fifth order, they rejoice that they have now escaped what is corruptible and shall inherit what is to come. And besides, they see the strength and tore from which they have been delivered and the spacious liberty that they are to receive and enjoy in immortality. <laughs> the sixth order, when it is shown them how their face is to shine like the sun and how they are to be made like the light of the stars being incorruptible from then on. <laughs> the seventh order, which is greater than all that have been mentioned because they shall rejoice with boldness, huh? And shall be confident without confusion and shall be glad without fear for they pressed forward to see the face of him whom they served in life and from whom they ought to receive their reward when glorified. <laughs> this is the order of the souls of the righteous as henceforth is announced. And the previously mentioned are the ways of the torment that those who would not give heed shall suffer hereafter. Then I said, Will time therefore be given to the souls after they have been separated from their bodies to see what you have described to me, O Most High? And he said to me, They shall have freedom for seven days. So that during these seven days, they may see the things of which you have been told. And afterwards, they shall be gathered in their habitations. <gasps> oh, 